All right, guys, I'm going to try this one more time. Uh, yesterday, well, I think it was yesterday when I put the video out. But yesterday I talked about a new project that I had coming up. And we're going to work on that today. Uh, we're going to start on it today. But this is the knife that I'm going to make. We're going to uh, attempt to make this. But I ordered a special piece of metal for this knife. And uh, it's a piece of 1095 high carbon steel. I know it's not the ideal metal to make knives with because I did some research on it. But uh, we're going to attempt to make this out of, out of this piece of metal. Uh, so I drew some of the outline on, on, the, on the metal already. And we're going to cut some of that out. Well, we're going to have to forge, forge the blade down to make it wide enough to, to meet the, the perimeters of that other knife. And I'm, the handle, I'm going to have to, and I only did this because it's the handle. I'm going to weld a piece on the end of this to make this handle long enough. Because I don't have enough metal to draw this out. I didn't calculate properly when I ordered the metal, so this is where I'm at. And if you guys hear that, it's raining here again. Sorry about that. Sorry about that noise. But uh, that's where we're at with this. So we're going to get started on this, and we're going to cut this out, and then I'll fire up the boards, and we can start forging on this thing. So hang with us, and we'll get this thing going, guys. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys. Uh, basic shape cut out. And I did this for a purpose because I didn't want to forge this thing out. I wanted it to be as close to that other blade as I can get it. That's why I cut it out. Typically I would be forging this blade out and hammering everything out on it. But I want this knife to, to be a real good knife. So we're going to forge. As you can see, this blade is a little bit wider than that one. So we're going to be forging this part out, this lower part out, to get the width that we need, which is an inch and a half. If I'm not mistaken, I measured that right. Maybe two inches. Uh, but uh, it's like an inch and a little over an inch and three, three quarter. So we're going to be forging this out to get our width that we need which we're already in an inch and a half now so a quarter inch I, I, I believe I can draw that out to a quarter a quarter inch and get that basic shape the same shape that we got going on here so that's where we're going to work on next we're going to get to start forging and, and, and get, define the tip out on this blade a little better and work on that handle part too also so we're going to get the forge started up and then I'll, I'll readjust the camera so you can see the, the anvil and we'll get started on this. So hang with us guys. GoPro stop recording.
this. I, what I did is I, on this hammer, I cut the end of it off. Right here. And I flattened that out as flat as I could get it. And we're going to use that to flatten the hammer marks out of that blade. On this railroad track. extend on this handle and make it longer so I, I may have went a little bit too much on it but the, the gentleman that I'm making this for has big hands a lot bigger than mine so I think it's gonna be just fine so uh, as you can see we still got some rough edges to clean up here but I'm gonna I have to make a trip out to get some uh, flap wheels to clean this up more but uh, this is where we're at, guys. I think it, I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, it's got a little wample right here. It's a little curvy right in here. But we can straighten that out with, uh, with a little bit of heat on it. That's where I had to, I had to weld this piece onto the end of it here, and and get it uh, to make it longer. 
but this is going to be a kitchen knife so you want that handle to be a little bit bigger anyways so you want to you don't really want your hand up in it and plus anyways we're going to put a uh, a bolster in here to bring the blade up a little bit more different that's where we're at guys come along pretty good I think it's it's, it's it's getting there we got a ways to go yet but uh haven't got no edge on it nothing like that but it's cleaned up and I'm gonna heat it up and probably straighten this out a little bit but there we go GoPro stop.